According to the evolutionary timeline and evidence within the fossil record, humans have supposedly been around for roughly 50,000 years, whereas some estimates put that time much further back in history. How is it then that only in the past 5,000 years has agriculture and further developments formed? Given the fact that in the past 40 years alone since the invention of the computer, technological innovation has reached an exponential growth, some theorise that perhaps our ancient ancestors also had advanced technologies that due to political strife or possible tragedy led to the human race having to start over. Today, we explore those ideas by uncovering seven strange discoveries that could prove technology once existed. Dendera Bulb Found in the Egyptian Hathor temples were vast hallways and even deeper constructions that seemed completely void of light. Many Egyptologists and archaeologists believe these areas to have been lit using torches or mirrors to reflect the sunlight, but further investigation showed no residue or evidence of soot on the ceilings as would be common with such findings, and after inputting several mirrors in areas believed to reflect light, the light of the mirrors would dim before being able to illuminate the temples and their vast hallways. It became a mystery soon enough to the Egyptologists, who could not understand why ancient Egyptians would build such a temple only for it to remain dark inside eternally. It was not until they began reading the hieroglyphics on the walls of the temples and looking at the carvings within the stone reliefs before they began to realise that something even more strange was the case. Referred to as Dendera bulbs, the stone reliefs depicted light bulbs throughout the temple in incredible detail, from the glass surrounding tubes to the power cord and even the lit inner filament inside the tube that is used to generate the light of the bulb itself. Given this finding and the temple's lack of conventional lighting, it appeared to many that perhaps ancient Egyptian technology was far more advanced than originally interpreted and that possible sources of artificial light could have been in place thousands of years before the modern discovery of electricity. Baghdad Battery Many will often dispute supposed writings of talking statues, massive machines and artificial lighting of the past given that it would have been impossible to have powered such devices since there had been no developments or evidence in the realm of electricity and electrical production. This claim has however been proven false after the discovery of the Baghdad Battery by archaeologists in the region of Iraq and in the surrounding areas. The Baghdad battery is often described as a potential galvanic cell as the entire body is a large vase filled with a cylinder of iron wrapped with copper sheeting. When the vase is filled with grape juice and would have been a common drink to have had in the area, it has been found that the Baghdad battery generates a significant electric current which could have been used for electroplating and have essentially created a battery used for further electrical requirements. Though many archaeologists reject this claim, a man by the name of Wilhelm Koning worked as an assistant of the National Museum of Iraq and began noticing ancient artefacts of a very fine silver coated in small trace amounts of gold similar to the technique of electroplating. This led to further supporting experiments by Willard Gray and W. Hansen that recreated galvanic cells from the Baghdad battery using both grape juice and again using vinegar, another common chemical available at the time. Stonehenge Always a major fascination amongst the locals of the area and researchers from around the world, Stonehenge has proven to be quite a mystery to anyone who even attempts to try to understand its construction and the techniques behind it. Not only are the large blocks used so massive that even modern means of construction would fail in regards to establishing the Stonehenge, but the source of the blocks appears to have been carved from hundreds of miles away which lead many researchers to question the ability of transporting such large stones to the area. To add to this bizarre strangeness of the formation of the Stonehenge, it has been discovered that the structure appears to have been built with astonishing precision in its placement and carved creation. The structure appears to be able to be used as a complex calendar and can even keep track of time to an incredibly mysterious accurate degree. This does insinuate, however, that not only did the ancients have the technology to cut the stones with laser precision, transport the massive blocks, lift them with tremendous force, and place them with perfect alignment, but that our ancestors also had the ability to make megalithic constructions in a very short span of time. 
This continues to baffle researchers to this day who work to uncover more secrets regarding Stonehenge, such as its weird electromagnetic properties and special materials used in its creation. Others have even argued that the formation of the Great Stonehenge could be direct proof of ancient technologies and extraterrestrial intervention. Stoneways to Sri Lanka Many Indians grow up hearing the story of Ramayan, which is an ancient Hindu poem that spoke of a magical bridge being constructed from large, floating stones that stretched from the southern parts of India all the way to the northern part of Sri Lanka that was placed by the Hindu god Rama. What is absolutely mysterious about this claim is that no evidence of stones had been found until new state-of-the-art NASA satellites looked towards the region of northern Sri Lanka to notice large stones resting on the sandbar underwater that stretched 30 miles from Sri Lanka to the southern part of India, connecting the massive land masses. Researchers immediately began carbon dating the stones in an effort to better understand the time frame of the formation stones and whether or not they had formed naturally. This theory was almost immediately proven to be false as evidence of carbon dating showed that the stones had been placed in that location artificially given the fact that the large stones on top of the sandbar were an older material than the sand beneath it. Leading research scientists to believe that the rocks were carved from different areas and moved to that location by ancient people. The ability for the ancestors of the region to have constructed a massive 30-mile megalithic structure of stones weighing thousands of tons appears to lead many to believe that the ancients had advanced technologies that we could not fathom today. Even more interesting are all the ancient Hindu accounts of the bridge and the gods forming these magical pathways via flying machines they would ride on. Easter Island Heads On April 5th of 1722, Dutch navigator Jacob Roggeveen visited the Easter Islands and remained to be the first outside human contact with the natives of the region. Roggeveen and his crew wrote vast documents and creating many detailed drawings of the island and large stones that appeared to be buried deep into the ground due to natural erosions and winds. What made the crew awe in the sight of these large stones is that they appeared to have been large statues carved from massive rocks and moved across great distances that were seemingly impossible to accomplish. The locals had stories that explained that the statues were floated to their positions by their powerful kings and priests that had the ability to transport these large stones. Later, in a BBC documentary, many researchers would revisit the island in an attempt to explain the large stone statues but failed to come up with any reliable hypothesis as to the movement, creation and placement of the massive stone heads. Many have subscribed to the theory that large rolling logs would have the ability to transport the stones. However, the size of the larger heads are physically impossible to move with rolling logs, as there are no trees with trunks thick enough to support the massive weight of the Easter Island heads. Domesticated Cats it has always been a mystery as to why there exists no fossils of the domesticated house cat before the time of ancient Egypt and has led many researchers to believe that perhaps Egypt was unique in the domestication of cats given its vast agriculture. This has, however, been an incomplete hypothesis as smaller wild cats were available elsewhere and many other civilizations at the time had vast arrays of agriculture and crops. It wasn't until analysing the strange history of the Egyptians within the Egyptian Book of the Dead that Egyptologists found a mysterious story as to the creation of the house cat. An ancient Egyptian story gives the account that the domesticated house cat was provided as a gift from the ancient gods of Egypt and would always be around to help as a companion. This has led many to believe that this story, along with the fact that the Egyptian gods appeared to have the heads of different animals and bodies, also had the ability to perform gene splicing and change the genetics of an animal as they so desired, a technology that even today we are only beginning to understand. The Book of Enoch 
After the discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls, new and untold scriptures were translated from the scrolls to reveal ancient stories that had long been omitted from the Bible by the Catholic Church due to their controversial nature. Among these stories in scripture was the Book of Enoch, which told the first-person account of Enoch as he joined angels in the heavens and wrote about his findings. The mysterious nature of this story only deepens as Enoch gives vast detailed account of visiting stars and planets, witnessing a star being sucked into a black hole and even travelling through time to foresee the future of humankind, describing humans as riding in fast metal chariots and travelling through the skies. After only travelling through space for roughly a week, when Enoch came back to Earth, he witnessed that nearly 300 years had passed within the seven-day time span, which is equivalent mathematically to time dilation discovered by recent findings in the realm of fourth-dimensional physics and the special theory of relativity. But what do you think of these discoveries? Be sure to leave your answers and questions in the comments section below and help to grow this community and work to help solve these unexplained mysteries. That was seven discoveries that could prove ancient technology once existed. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.